YouTube is not sending out notifications ahead of time, which they're supposed to be doing, which makes me very upset. But I'm not going to complain because it's the 4th of July in America. For those of you who will be joining shortly when this thing kicks in in America, happy 4th of July. We are going for a morning ride. It's a beautiful day. The temperature is fantastic. And we have a target. Supercars. There's one right back here. Actually, there's a couple. Well, I don't know if those qualify necessarily as supercars, but they are pretty super on the cars. But we're going to actually look for some real supercars. And we're heading to Ginza, that area. We're sure to find something that will get the salivary glands going. For those of you who are into supercars and nice sights around Tokyo. So welcome. Hey, Jonathan. Yeah, notifications are not going out before I start these streams for some reason. I'm not sure what's happening. But regardless, I'm going to put you into the helmet right now, and we're going to get on the road. I'm here with Sexy AF. Yeah. We're gonna get on her momentarily and get underway. So let me put you in the helmet and we'll get started. So bear with me. All right. You're going into the helmet now. I'm gonna flip this around. Actually, we're gonna flip this around. This one. Making sure that the thing is properly secured. Bear with me. All right, properly secured. I'm gonna plug in the microphone and we'll be on our way. Can everybody hear me okay? Can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? Yes, you can. Because I can hear myself. All right. We'll be on the road. Rubber on the pavement in a matter of seconds. Kawasaki Ninja showing off his stuff. So a lot of these people are headed to uh, school. There's a school up the road here. All right, kids, let's be on our way. We're trying to get a jump start on the traffic this morning. We'll get in front of this truck here. It's really a glorious morning. Temperature's fantastic. It's supposed to rain a little later, so that's why I wanted to get an early start. 
and get out and get some fresh air. You see all these kids going to school, it's a high school. Greetings, everybody. Hey, from Oregon. Dean. Thanks, Dean. Give you a close-up. This is one of my favorite parts right here. Actually, I like every bit of it. It's, it's fun turned out really well. Chick-fil-A is not in Japan as far as I know. I'm going to try to get pole position here. Ooh, that was close. You got to be really careful not to smack other people's side view mirrors when you pull little stunts like that. And this bike has some pretty wide side view mirrors. Woo! Somebody looking for a ride? Oh, it's so nice with minimal traffic. This breeze is glorious. So we're on Hakusan Street, as we often are on these live streams. It's a main artery that goes between, actually all the way up to Saitama, basically. It's, the, the name changes, but it's more or less the same. All right, we want to get over here. Uh, and it, it kind of uh, runs into Kokyo, which is the Imperial Palace, the grounds there, the outer moat. As far as I know, nobody has actually flown into that outer moat on the motorcycle, and I don't want to be the first. Does that qualify? AMG, Mercedes, is that a supercar? That's not really a supercar, is it? That's Ferraris. Oh, jeez. Look for Ferraris and Lambos. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. would like to wish all of you in America a happy 4th of July. I haven't been home for the 4th of July. Wow. And I don't remember how many decades it's been. Always a good time, the barbecues. Yeah, Corntron. Where was the parade? Which parade did you go to? Thank you, Jason. Good morning. How are you? Woohoo! Over here is uh, <clears throat> Tokyo Dome City with the Ferris wheel, which is a lot of fun, this Ferris wheel. John and I went on there once. It has karaoke. So you can sing karaoke as you go around and round. 
it's about a 15 minute maybe 15 20 minute uh ride from start to finish not all of them have the uh karaoke machine but you pay a little extra you can get that one and it's a lot of fun and if i remember correctly he destroyed my rendition of frank sinatra which was going very nicely until he had to open his yapper that's okay that's what we love about john his open yapper This is Tokyo Dome Hotel. They have a buffet there, which I cannot recommend. Buy to any sponsorship from them in the future. I take it back. I highly recommend the Tokyo Dome Hotel's buffet. Well, it's not bad, but compared to the Imperial Hotel, Teikoku Hotel, sorry, the Teikoku Hotel, uh, yeah, the Imperial Hotel. They have an outstanding buffet. It's about like 75 or 80 bucks. It's not cheap. Of course, it's Viking. They call it Viking. All you can eat, high, high quality foods, roast beef and sushi, like really good sushi, sashimi. Just what you would expect for shelling out 70, 80, 90 bucks. That's not including drinks, alcohol. There's other, I think there's a, a, probably a drink bar, but uh, if you want alcohol, you gotta pay extra, of course. But really good buffet at the Imperial Hotel, AKA Teikoku Hotel. That's over uh, near Ginza, the area where we're headed now. Have you guys been keeping your eyes peeled for supercars? Anybody seen anything yet? Oh my gosh, we just found our first supercar. The Nissan Leaf. The stream finished way earlier than I imagined. Wait, come back. Zero emission supercar. Did I already mention it's an awesome day today? Perfect temperature. I'm in a t-shirt. Which is a no-no on a motorcycle. Because if you come off, there's going to be nothing left of you but a helmet. But I'm not riding crazy. We're taking these here. We're just passing through Jimbocho. Hey. Linda. Thank you so much. Happy 4th. Shh. Be very, very quiet. We are hunting supercars. <laughs> That was a horrible rendition of Merfoot. Thank you, Linda. Linda writes, Happy 4th, caught you live. Pick up a treat for Joji. Thank you, I will. Joji's my son. He's off to school right now. We do not have 4th of July holiday here in Japan. And don't get me started on that. I love how Japan culturally appropriates the American holidays that they want to. Christmas, Easter, Halloween, what else? If you're gonna take one Valentine's Day, if you're gonna take one of our holidays, you gotta take all of them. Fourth of July, Martin Luther King Day, Juneteenth. Come on, Japan. Giving holidays. 
Yeah, I can understand that, but come on. Good morning, Zena. Hello. Hello, everybody. How many of you watching had 4th of July celebrations? And what did you do? So this is, dead ahead is the Imperial Palace. That's the moat, the outer moat. And we're gonna kind of uh, increase our odds of finding a supercar by going into Ginza. And hopefully that will uh, get us what we want. All right, I'm gonna go this. This is Takebashi. We're right near Otemachi right now. This is like my dream temperature right now. If I could live somewhere that has this kind of temperature, it's probably probably about 80 82 right now but it's there's the, the air is cool we had a little today so it's really really comfortable let me get over here guys woohoo this is uh, coming up on my rear this taxi driver oh did we finish Targa 911 supercar. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Lamborghini SUV. <laughs> the stream has ended. Congratulations, PVG. But I'm not done yet. Are you guys done? We'll keep going. This is, we're still in our infancy. We've had two supercars. Well, three, including that Nissan Leaf. I like the color of this red Mazda over here. It's just a beautiful red. Kind of, uh, you can't really see it. It's kind of hidden behind that and <clears throat> It's like this deep ruby red. And in the, the light, it looks fantastic. Soul Red, yeah, that's a good name. Good color name. This area never lets you down when you're looking for supercars. Up on the right is the Imperial Palace. Oh, this is great. As I mentioned in the last stream when I was riding Sexy AF, which we're on right now, I, uh, I put the stock pipes back on for uh, passing the inspection and um, vehicle inspection. So it's much quieter. It's, much, it's a much more comfortable ride because of the the quietness nowhere near as ballsy but fun Tomas this is great I would ride if I joined a tail with you guys awesome is to chase supercars yeah yeah I agree Miami guy 2000 writes, hey PVG, do you ever take public transportation or do you just ride your bike and car? Well, 
actually, in a rare instance, I took public transportation yesterday. I had a job in Jimbocho, and they've really clamped down in that area on bike parking. I used to have a parking for P place that I'd always use, and they started patrolling it and giving out tickets and it's just yeah it's it's an easy commute to Jimbocho by train and it takes the headache out of parking so but in a roundabout way answer to your question I almost always ride the bikes and until I got the car uh, I started driving a little bit as well but uh, parking is a real bear for cars in Tokyo as well so I that the car's intention is more for just uh, on days off and with the family buzzing around town, short trips, um, stuff like that. Bikes are just far more convenient in Tokyo. So this is one of the moats here. Oops, I just turned off the engine by accident. Yeah, I agree. Mr. Black says the old style spoked wheels would look really nice on the bike. I, uh, I totally agree with that. I would like to see this bike with the spokes. And if I ever have an opportunity to buy a pair that are cheap, I might swap them out. Um, the spoked, these uh, kind of, I don't know what you would call them. My old BMX bicycle, we call them tufts. These so sort of minimal spoked wheels. Um, they look good. I think they were just on this year, the 2009 Bonneville. We're going to turn left here and head into Ginza. Ginza is over yonder. Whenever I see this moat, it reminds me, and I've mentioned this on the streams before, one of my all-time favorite YouTube videos are... Uh-oh, this guy got pulled over. Sorry. When we're done with this stream, check out on YouTube, put in uh, Naked Foreigner Tokyo Moat or something like that. And it is a laugh riot, man. This guy, I think he was a German guy buck naked he went for a swim in one of these moats and just having a great old time kind of a big big guy bigger guy totally bald and buck naked and uh the keystone coppers are chasing him and it's just oh my god i i'll leave it to you to, to watch the rest but uh but don't watch that until after this stream is finished yeah welcome Welcome, Silky Cherry. Finally watching you live. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm glad you. I'm glad you're able to join. Um, we're going straight ahead to Ginza. DJ asks, "What does parking cost in Tokyo?" Well, bike parking is nominal. Um, sometimes, like you know maybe 200 yen an hour or less than that depends on where you are but it's quite inexpensive most places um, cars however is a very different story cars it, it costs around 300 yen per 20 minutes so they really ream you for car parking here and, you know, the land, as we all know, especially in Ginza, is at a major premium. So, they have to charge a lot to use that, that land space where they build the parking lots. Okay, we have a lot of people waiting here in line for something. God knows what. We have entered Ginza. We're on a prowl. We're hunting Fawawis. Be very, very quiet. I'm going to go left. Something's telling me to go left. 
we'll kind of weave our way through Ginza a bit. Mr. Black says parts of London charge the same price for bikes and cars. Yeah, that's no good. Hey, Jonathan, welcome. Yeah, John will, uh, he'll definitely get a bike after our Hokkaido trip. He will soon see the joy of getting around Tokyo on two motorized wheels. He already knows the joy of being on a bicycle. which also is quite convenient if you're living in the center of Tokyo. Actually, can we go straight? We can go straight here. I'm going to go straight. I just changed my mind. We're going to ride by one of the coolest buildings in Ginza. And it is right up here on the left. Can anybody of Tokyo guess where we're going to stop in front of which building? Can you guess where we are right now? Hey, Jonathan, I told you to wait until this stream was over to watch the naked guy. Yeah, I wish there were some more details on who that guy is and what happened to him. Um, I imagine he was swiftly deported after interrogating him. But you don't want to mess up when you're in Japan. The police can keep you without being charged for, I think it's 21 or 23 days with no charge. So imagine if you're, if you do something stupid and you live here, you have a job and you just disappear. You probably lose your job. You, you get a call, I guess. You get a phone call. You can call the, the consulate. Help! All right. Pulling over here to the left. Here goes a nice SUV. Oh, that's a wagon, actually. This is Kabukiza. This is where the Kabuki is, uh, Kabuki plays take place. Really cool building. I'll kind of pull up over here a little bit behind this stinky guy in front of us. You stink. But a uh, very cool building. This was rebuilt. The original one they, they uh, um, raised after the, the earthquake and, uh, in 2011. And then they rebuilt it to basically its original glory, but obviously with um, contemporary earthquake codes. All right. Watch out, Here comes another dump truck. Well, so far, no supercars here in Ginza. What's going on, Ginza? We will, uh, we'll circle back. I don't think, no, we can't do a U-turn here. For those of you who are just joining, we are in Ginza, and we're out for a morning ride, checking out supercars, 
in and around Tokyo. We've all, if you missed, we've already seen two. They were right back to back. Uh, 911 Targa Porsche, a newer model, and a Lamborghini SUV. And don't tell me that's not a supercar. Because it is. Yeah, Jonathan, <laughs> you guessed right. Do you win a ride on Sexy AF? They might be able to swing that. Might be able to swing something like that. Rides on Sexy AF are not cheap. But for a prize, I suppose, I suppose we could think about that. goes the ambulance. The ambulance drivers here are the most polite anywhere in the world. Regardless of the severity of emergency, they're polite. Oh, please, can we get you to please move? We're really, really sorry about this inconvenience, but we'd ask that you kindly, with the graciousness of your heart, move to the side just a little bit so we can go by and save somebody who's dying. And then, anywhere else, get out of the way, move it. Andrew A. says, do you ever see American muscle cars here? Uh, yeah, occasionally. All right, there's a, an older Porsche 911. Yeah, you occasionally see some some uh, late model muscle cars. They are a bit of a white buffalo, though. You don't see them often. All right, we're in Higashi Ginza now. <laughs> Go to Carl's Jr. on Sexy AF. Yeah. So this uh, this BMW up in front of us, that is not a supercar, but that's the same color as mine. Beautiful blue, isn't it? I guess to somebody it's super, but not to me. Come on. Come on, what are you waiting for? Put on your turn signal, butthead. The guy's got his morning bento or something. Looks like a, a, a noodle dish. Oh, jeez. Am I going the wrong way? Shit. I think I'm going the wrong way. Sorry about that, guys. Excuse my profanity, but I went down the wrong way, ro one way road. How did how'd that happen? Thank goodness there's no fuzz around. Yeah, I totally went the wrong way. Shoot. That's embarrassing. One thing you want to avoid, <laughs> going down the, the wrong way. Don't let that huge one-way sign fool you.
All right, so we're just leaving Higashi Ginza and heading into Ginza, back back into Ginza again, going the other way now. <laughs> on the, we're going the right way this time, on the right side of the road. I mean, on the left side, but the correct side of the road. No more... These are the perils. The perils of live streaming. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not sure why it froze, but uh, or we lost we lost uh, connection. Yeah, we're back. Sorry about that. Um. And you guys missed the tunnel. There's a cool tunnel that runs from Ginza down to here. Uh, yeah, apologies for that. That's one of the perils of live streaming. You just never know what's going to happen. But thankfully, we are using Docomo. The last few days, AU, which is the other main carrier, there's three, SoftBank, Docomo, and AU, KDDI. They, their system went down completely. So all of their users with, were without any signal for well over a day and they they got like 70% of the customers up and going and uh, I don't know how they determine maybe based on frequency of use data but those people oh this policeman's having a chat with the truck driver he's probably not supposed to be sitting here and taking a nap But anyhow, yeah, imagine the stress of the engineers trying to get their mobile system back up with millions of customers complaining. What a nightmare. Okay. We are... We bypassed Hibia Dori. And uh, we're kind of cruising into uh, Toronamon. Looking for the elusive Ferrari. I'm glad I made the classification relatively broad, just supercar, because I was going to make it Ferraris, looking for Ferraris. They usually come out a little later, it's still early in the morning for that. So this is Toronamon. We're going to go up a little bit further and then we're going to turn left, do a loop back, and that will be it for this morning. A lot of people wait in the shade. They stand back, wait in the shade until the light turns green so they can cross, get minimal sun exposure. A lot of the ladies here will wear these long gloves to protect their skin, keep their hands looking young, like me. 
I do the same. You may wonder how I stay so young looking, at least my hands, it's because of my gloves. This Toronto, Toronto Mon Hills here, one of my favorite buildings. It's a fun place to hang out, some good restaurants inside, good coffee shops. Cool garden out back, it's kind of a small sculpture garden where you can hang out and there's some nice lounge chairs and it's a cool area. Good morning cafe over here is a, uh, a tasty place. It's a chain, there's several of them around town. That one has a really cool location, obviously. Lots of space. So these people are all heading into work. I need to get my son, Joji, a new bicycle. It'll be the last bicycle he gets on my dime. Not because I'm a mean dad. There's motorcycle parking over there. It's uh, 60 minutes for 100 yen. So it's 100 yen an hour. Um, yeah, he's kind of outgrown his current bicycle. So okay there's another supercar yeah and this is one of my favorites can anybody guess what it is the black one over there i can't zoom in for you that's a beautiful car give up that's the aston martin the new aston martin suv gorgeous car they're about i think about three hundred thousand dollars something like So supercars don't have to be like a really low to the ground sports car. They can be SUVs. They still have supercar engines. If somebody wants to argue with me about that, you can. How are you doing, Jason? Okay, so now we are heading back towards Hibia. Ginza will be over on the right. We're going to keep on going straight. And I'm going to go have some breakfast. I'm going to meet up with a friend later for coffee in uh, Omote Sando. So check out my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you can find uh, a link to that here in this video. Upper right, I believe. Follow me on Instagram and uh, you'll get some updates from around Japan. And I'll try to take some photos when I'm in Omote Sando later today. This car here has the time sticker on the back. It's a rental, car rental, kind of like car share. And they're parked in parking lots all over Japan. And you just, uh, you register online or in their shop and you book it for however long you want to use it. Hour, two hours, two days. It's very convenient. No supercars, sorry. Dimmy DM says, finally live, not easy to catch. Welcome. Yeah, I'm kind of on a streaming 
frenzy right now. I've got a bit of free time. Work is quite quiet. So I'll take this opportunity and ride a bit and connect with you good folks. If you're into true crime, check out my true crime podcast, Homicide Inc. Weekly true crime, compelling true crime stories. That link is in the description. I think Jason also was was uh, posting that. Thank you, Jason, as always. Say hello to my friend and assistant here, Jason B. from Vancouver. I think Ramsey's was here, too. Jesse T, what do you do for work, Peter? I'm a voice actor. So I've been voice actor, narrator for the past 23 years. More than 23. My 23rd anniversary in Japan is coming up in a couple weeks. 23 years, hard to believe. It's a proud owner of a Vespa. Again, this is the outer moat around the uh, Imperial Palace off to the left. Maybe what I'll do is pull up between these guys and give you guys a better view of what's going on here and a better chance to catch a supercar. Tumblr, I don't think I'll be on Tumblr unless it's something that I'm missing. Well, I hope everybody had a nice 4th of July. For those of you in America, Still a marvelous temperature right now. Oh shoot. Just ignore that I stalled the bike. You didn't see that. Dang it. Sometimes this Bonneville is hard to get into uh, neutral. It's really a pain. Oftentimes, when I'm over in this part of town, I will take the expressway home. It's very quick when it's not, uh, it's the Palace Hotel over here on the left. When it's not uh, busy time. And uh, luckily, I checked this morning and I noticed that my ETC card was not in the bike. ETC is the uh, automatic toll gate that we use here in, in Tokyo for the Shuto Expressway and throughout and the, all the, uh, the paid toll roads. 
Um, but you can see down here, there's a, a light and that tells you whether or not you have your uh, card in. If it's red, that means there's no card in there. Green, it's okay. And I remembered I took the card out because I, I only have three cards and I put one inside the, the BMW. So Sexy AF is stuck using the side roads for now. You can easily take the cards out. It's no big deal. You notice this around town too. This, this lady here has a fan, a personal fan that she's holding up to her face to cool herself off. That was kind of a big boom last summer. We're kind of near, this is Otemachi, up to the right would be Nihonbashi. No more supercars. I know some other hot spots, we weren't, we're not going to do that today. But I know uh, some areas where there's loads of supercars. We'll do that on another stream. Anything else you would like to see in a live stream by motorcycle? Let me know in the comments. I'm always very careful when I go through the intersections here. Even if it's a green light, I check make sure no careless fool is blasting through there <clears throat> and we're rolling back into Chimbocho and We'll wrap things up shortly. Thank you for joining me, guys. Brant. Dude, <clears throat> are you still here in Japan? Shoot me a mail, Brant. I've, wow, Natsukashi. I thought you left a long time ago. Oh, you're in Australia. Okay. Good to hear from you, man. Hey, Frank. Yeah, I got rid of that. Uh, I got rid of the, the ST2 a long time ago. And got a Triumph Speed Triple. And now this, this is my custom Bonneville. Sexy AF. It's a cruiser. It doesn't have much in the way of ponies. I, I have a funny story about Brant, who has joined our <clears throat> joined our chats here. I don't know if I can say this, Brant. Can I? Yeah, I can. It was it was honest. It was funny. Out one night. You're, you, you got a free motorcycle, if I remember correctly. You were always very thrifty, and you got a dirt bike that was abandoned in front of some house or apartment or something, and you asked the owner if you could have it, and they gave it to you. Am I just making that up, or is that really what happened? I think that's what happened. Yeah, thanks. This, uh... This is uh, one of my fun projects, making this bike. Kawasaki 220. Maddie Kirby says, Hello, I'm a big fan of your work as White Bomber from Super Bomberman R. And I'm glad you're returning to him as Super Bo in Super Bomberman R2. Thank you, Maddie Kirby. Yeah, I'm the voice of of white, white bomber. 
And we've got a new one coming out. Super Bomberman R2. So if you play video games, check out the new game. Yeah, it's coming out very soon. Okay, this is uh, Ochano Mizu coming up here. Ochano Mizu. Unfortunately, we can't go left here. It's kind of a cool little area. But um, Timo Timo says, Peter! Hey, Timo Timo. Sultan says, are you thinking about moving back to the U.S. anytime soon? I am not. I don't think that's in the cards. Considering I came here on the witness protection program. Did I just say that? Don't do any sleuthing online, okay? Whatever you do. I'm just kidding. I didn't mean that. No, I uh, probably will not be moving back, but I'm going back for a visit with my family in August, which will be a nice trip. Yeah, you know, as we get older, parents are aging and... It's, uh, when you're living abroad, it makes things a little bit stickier and kanashi, sad. So I'm looking forward to spending some good quality time with my mom, like I did back in October. And, uh, of course, my, my one other sister that's there and good friends that are still there in Portland. So, it may go for a ride. Maybe Sam is watching this later. Been in touch with Sam. I might do a ride a little bit. He's got some nice bikes. And a couple other friends in Portland from high school are doing off-road riding, and I might uh, do that one day. If I do, I'll be sure to uh, maybe... Put, post some footage or something on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> now the witness protect witness protection program is not related to my podcast, Homicide Inc. Franklin asks, getting, is getting a motorcycle license easier than international driver's license in Japan? Well, I'm not sure. It depends on the, the country you're coming from. But some countries, I think you can, if you switch it over quickly after coming to Japan, you can do it relatively easy. But... Uh, An international driver's license, you can't use that indefinitely. If you are in Japan, I think more than 60 days or something like that, you're supposed to, or if you have a visa, you're supposed to switch it over to a, uh, a Japanese driver's license. And that's typically, you have to take a, a test on a motorcycle riding test. You get on it and you ride the course and they fail you. In my case, they failed you six times. Actually, I passed on the sixth try to get the uh, mid-level motorcycle license like John Dobb is getting. We are rolling into Todai. 
Tokyo University, the top university in Japan, arguably one of the top in Asia. Only the smartest are allowed to die. And a lot of families raise their kids in these escalator schools that are connected with Todai. So they begin studying from a very early age, extra cram schools and things, so that they can have an easier transition into Todai. But this is a uh, this is probably gonna be a good place for us to uh, pull over and wrap things up. <clears throat> this is the famous red gate, the Akamon, here at uh, Tokyo University. I'm just gonna park this. And it has been closed for a very long time now. I believe because of the pandemic. So this gate has not been active so much. But it's a cool campus. It's worth a walk through. There's a Starbucks in there and uh, beautiful campus. So if you're coming to Tokyo and you're looking for a tour of some kind, you could uh, go walk around on the campus there, get a cup of coffee. So, I want to thank you guys for joining, as always. Always a pleasure. <clears throat> I'll try to keep these streams going when I, when I have a free moment. And uh, coming up in less than a month, John and I will be in Hokkaido writing every day, streaming, making a, a documentary. More details on that coming up as soon as he gets back from his trip in America. Um, so I'm going to, just a moment, I'm going to pop my helmet off. There with me. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, it's hot in that helmet. I'm back. I'm here. Thanks so much for joining, guys, and uh, I will be in touch soon with more live streams. Let me know what you'd like to see on a motorcycle ride in Tokyo, and uh, I'll see what I can do to make your dreams come true. Catch you guys soon, and uh, have a nice rest of the day wherever you are. Talk to you.